Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Hey, everybody, we're here to come to your rescue, to heal you, to make you feel better, especially now during tough times. We're into 2022, still dealing with COVID and, and lots of stress. And Bonnie Slykhouse is here, and she's the owner of Holistic Health and Wellness, H3 Hypnosis. She can hypnotize you. She can make you feel better. Reiki sessions as well. How are you doing today, Bonnie? I'm doing wonderful. Weekend's coming. Weekend is coming, yes. And unfortunately, not to be negative, but during the whole COVID situation, there's so much stress, stress, anxiety, people just just feeling out of sorts now. Why do you think that is? Why are we still, why haven't we recovered from this whole COVID situation? Because it's never ending. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's when you think it's over. Uh, hey, another strain. There we go. Let's do right. it. Right. Well, if you think about it, everybody's world got flipped upside down because never have we had the whole world dealing with the same thing. So it's not like you could go somewhere and escape from it. And it's changed how people work. You know, my own, I, I also work for a college and, you know, just all of a sudden, one day we're at work, the next day we're home for the next year and a half. Yeah. And then on top of that, we had cybersecurity issues. So there's lots of stress that people are trying to figure out how to deal with that they've never experienced before, making it very difficult. And that's where you come into play, because I know if you try to find a, a therapist, a counselor, a psychiatrist, it's almost impossible because they're all they have so many cases right now. They almost can't take any more patients. And if they can, it's going to be private pay. So you can pay out of pocket, not with your insurance. Right. So if you factor, and I'm that's extremely valuable. I'm not, I'm not minimizing, you know, counseling or therapy at all. But if we put that to the, the side for a second, how can you help people with that stress and that anxiety? So we're actually seeing more people come in for stress and anxiety than we have in the past. And it's people are just not sure how to cope. Then, and I'm not knocking counseling therapy and all of that, but sometimes it doesn't go deep enough. And what I mean by that is being able to access the subconscious. Sometimes we don't know exactly why we're stressed or anxious, but it just panic attacks, you know, it just comes over you and it's debilitating. So the nice thing about hypnosis, we bring people in and number one, we teach them how to relax. We take them on a little mental mind journey Two, uh, during hypnosis. It's we explain that you can't have two opposing thoughts at the same time. For example, you can't be extremely sad and extremely happy at the same time. So a lot of times people, when they get stressed, they get into a cycle where I look at this thing that's negative. Maybe I see something on the news and that leads to another negative thought and another, and it's just like a spiral all the way down. So helping them, helping them to recognize it, giving them techniques to stop that, recognize the cycle and stop it and actually change their mental thought pattern to something positive. Um, maybe it's breath work, but we, we can do a lot with, hypnosis because we can give them those suggestions while they're under and they might not remember what the suggestions are but when they come out they start doing them automatically so you talk about breath work bonnie can you elaborate a little bit more on that so we use it when we put people under as well so breath work is you know, if you just calm down and focus on your breathing and one technique uh, my sister talks about is just putting your hand on your chest and then taking a big breath in and pushing the first finger down, taking a deep breath in and slow letting it out and putting, putting the next finger down and going through all five fingers. And you start to really focus on taking nice, long, relaxing, deep breaths. Um, because when you get anxious, you're breathing faster and your mind's going a thousand miles an hour. So just focusing on your breath, helps you to be, pay attention, relax, and kind of let the world go away. So you're focusing on something different, but you're also lowering your heart rate, relaxing, and. Uh, you know, yeah, that's such a simple technique, but I have to tell you, by pressing, it forces you to the next breath because yep. I, 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 had a, 
I don't really, I have the attention span of probably a flea. So <laughs> at that point where I'm supposed to be taking those breaths, I would get lost. I'm like, all right, all right, I can't do this anymore. But this is yep. controlling you, pushing you as you're pushing uh, to take those breaths in sequence and, and get, you know, time out the breath. I think that's a great technique. Another one you can do is, you know, with your nose, press in one, breathe in one side of your nose and breathe out the other side of your nose. So again, it's just trying to get your focus elsewhere and to get you to think about your breathing and just make it longer, deeper, more relaxed. I, I advise everybody to try that. I personally can't do it because I have a deviated septum. So if I do that, I'm not oh. going to be. <laughs> I will pass out. And you know what? Not so bad. I'll you know I'll be relaxed. I'll be relaxed at that. Yeah, moment, but, yeah, uh, yeah. You'll be focusing on your breathing then. <laughs> exactly. Not intended. Not intended. Uh, your website. Let's give it to everybody if they want to get some more insight on what you guys do. So if you go to h3hypnosis.com. That's uh, to our just our hypnosis. Uh, if you want to see our other services, it's H2 Wellness, H the number two wellness.net. And that takes you to our massage, our Reiki, the yoga. And we're we're trying to put together now also some other classes, you know, just some educational classes. We have a lot of people who are like, hey. Um, I, there's this huge shift that's supposed that's happening right now in the world, you know, by people's vibrations are getting higher and if there's just chaos and they, everybody talks about the shift that's happening and on our planet and trying to create classes to help people ask questions, become a more aware, um, learn more about what's happening. And we're just starting to put those together. They probably won't happen for a few months as we start to design them. And But really kicking off probably within the next nine months. What are the things that you can do virtually? Uh, we can do the Reiki, the Reiki virtually. And we do, I'm again, now that I have good internet, I can do the hypnosis virtually as well. Uh, if people are local, I like to see them come in for the first time just so that we get to know each other and it's not just all on a screen. Um, but we do have the capability now to do, do virtual. You have to be able, to, I have to be able to see you because that's part of how I know what level you're at in hypnosis and if you're in and of what direction to take you. So being able to have audio and video on you while you're doing a session is important. Hmm. Can you take us through that, that process? Because I find it fascinating that you could hypnotize somebody virtually, but would they be sitting in chair? Would they be laying down? How would that go? So that'd really be their choice. If they are comfortable sitting in a chair, that's fine. It's better if they have headphones so that they can and try to find a place that's quiet without distractions. You know, you don't have the kids running around beating on the door, the dogs barking and those kinds of things. So I just say find a comfortable place. It might be a couch, a chair, a bed. Uh, make sure that it's quiet, that you are going to be undisturbed for about an hour. I prefer headphones because it helps uh, listen to me and drown out those distractions. And the video, it's just so that I can see how you're responding. Um, if you didn't have that, I would. Um, I did my niece one time where my sister was actually there so she could kind of tell me what was going on. But I would rather do it with video so that I can tell what's happening. I'm going to ask a odd question. We didn't plan this out, but I'm wondering, okay. is there a way that you could start the hypnosis process? Even with me, we're not going to, you know, we don't have an hour. Um, the yeah. beginning process really. Yeah. Hmm. I've got headphones. Uh, how long? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want? Like just the initial induction part? Yeah. Just a feel for how, how it all begins. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of ways we can do it, but go ahead and just find a comfortable place. And maybe if you're sitting in a chair, having your feet flat on the floor or a comfortable place, so try not to cross you, anything. I, go I, ahead. Try not to what? Cross anything? Yeah. Like your legs, your arms. Okay. Your hands. So I'm, I'm in, in my studio office and okay. my feet are on a actual, <laughs> I'm not, I got nothing to hide here. I'm on a okay. box. My, there's a big box oh, here. Okay. And, and it's almost like, it's almost like I'm laying half down, but I'm very comfortable. Um, just kind of chilling out. So that for me, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. Okay. 
So go ahead and uh, just close your eyes. And all you have to do is listen to me and just hypnosis is a lot about imagination. So as I talk to you, I want you to imagine breathing in peace, tranquility, and relaxation. And imagine if you could give that a color or a feeling, what might that be like? Maybe it's like little rays of light. And go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And slowly let it out. Another nice deep breath in. Slowly let it out. Now imagine those sensations of peace and relaxation and tranquility as they pass into your nostrils. Hit the back of your windpipe. Visualize them, feel them as they go down deep into your lungs. And those wonderful relaxing sensations spread out in all the nooks and crannies of your lungs. Maybe like watching fireworks in a night sky, if you were to envision it. And feel yourself just listening to the sound of my voice, letting everything else just fade away. As you continue to focus on your breathing in and out. And now I want you to imagine that there's a wonderful, brilliant white light above your head, almost like standing outside on a warm summer day, feeling that warmth on the top of your head, drifting down along the sides of your face, relaxing your face, moving across your shoulders and your arms, your upper back, taking you all the way down, relaxing deeper, down to the tips of your fingers, through your hips and your legs, all the way down to the tips of your toes. Everything else just fades away. Just listening to the sound of my voice and everything around you just falls away. There's no place you have to be, nothing you have to do. And just imagine yourself in a nice, comfortable garden grassy area where you can lay down and just relax and you can feel the breeze on your face and your skin maybe there's aroma in the air what does it feel like what does it smell like maybe you can hear the birds overhead the rustling of the wind in the trees and just allow your imagination and this wonderful place to bring you healing and joy and peace. Continuing to breathe in and out. Feel your toes start to relax. Your feet and your legs. Every area, all the tension just fades away. Just feel it just could sink deep down to the earth like water down a drain. All the negative energy that does not serve your highest good, just let it go. And just relax. And know that you can go back to this place anytime you want. We call that self-hypnosis. And you simply find a comfortable place. And co focus on your breathing. And count backwards slowly from 10 down to 1. And by the time you reach 1, you can be here and spend as much time as you need or you want. And then when you're ready, you can just count yourself up, up slowly, becoming more awake with each number, becoming more energized, moving up from one, two, feeling that energy moving back up through your feet, three, four, feeling so wonderful, so motivated, four, five, Starting to wake up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, feeling energized and wide awake, nine, and ten, eyes wide open, wide awake. <laughs> and that was just a little quick one. We can go a lot farther than that, but. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Did you, did you see things? I did. I was in that garden. Did you find yourself, okay. Um, I'm sorry, you go first. 
I was just going to say, you know, did you feel the grass and the air on your skin? I did. And I smelled the flowers. And I will tell you this, it started for me, you know, I'm here in terms of relaxation. You know, if this uh -huh. is relaxation, I was here. I started coming down. I popped up again because I couldn't focus. And then I came back yeah. down again. And once I was on my, like the plane was on its way down, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I could, I could actually sense I could go into a deep trance from that point. I was at that point where, and then, and then you brought me back out again, but your voice and the imagery was so vivid. And for me, when I want to relax, I think about the ocean. I think, of, you know, that's, that's my thing. I, that's my passion. I love it. Um, tropical, but what you just described was fantastic as well. I mean, I felt like I was in that field. I felt that grass. I heard the birds. <laughs> it's pretty wild. <laughs> it, it was almost like, and, and, and the, di the difference is, you know, I know that we're on camera. So for a second, right. like, you know, what's going to happen? And, and I'm thinking about that, but then I let that go. I just released it. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Let's, let's, now I'm back down here. Uh, pretty fantastic. Wow. So when people come in, I'll interview them and then I'll ask them, you know, what do you like? If you were to pick a happy place, either in your mind or a real place, where would it be? What, and I'll say, you know, do you like water? Because I'll use that. If they like the ocean, I'll put them on a beach and we'll go on a little beach relaxation. If they like a lake, if they like a mountainside. But I don't want to put people by water that are afraid of water. Uh, I don't want people put people on a mountain who are afraid of heights, you know, that kind of thing. Sure. So... I use that and then try to incorporate some of their language that they tell me in the interview. But there's a lot of ways that you can um, invoke relaxation and you can do that for yourself. Like, there's so many people that can't sleep. Uh, we are doing a high school demonstration for a psychology class next Friday. And I always ask how many kids can't sleep and oh. like all but one will raise their hand. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I so, my son is 15 and I can tell you straight out last night he got if he's lucky he got five hours of sleep I know because he went to bed yeah. late and I know he wakes up and then I had to wake him up at you know 6 10 to get going and then didn't do the math that's barely five hours um I can see this is very connected to meditation but yeah. I find that if I were meditating I get to a certain point and I don't progress from that point and it's not a bad point but with what you're doing, you take it right into that like deeper, it's a deeper state. How did you realize that you had the ability to do that? Because I have to tell you, the way you speak, the imagery, your inflection is all part of it. It's not like you're sitting there reading a script and, you know, just banging it out. It's, you know, I'm feeling you as I go into that trance. So it it comes with practice. I mean, I, I have another job where I'm a trainer. So voice inflection and those kinds of things. When we have students come in and we teach them about hypnosis, they're going to start out with the script, mm -hmm. uh, reading it. Cause it's like, okay, you have to know the language. And we talk about imagery and all the different senses. So for example, uh, you might have somebody come in that when you say, imagine this or see, you have to be careful because if they, they might be a person that doesn't see imagery. They just feel it or sense it. So then you have to change your terminology to sounds and feelings and sensations rather than see this picture, see the green grass, you know, so you're going to have to, we teach them how, how to bring know? in all the senses. How would you know that a person can't see the imagery in their head? I usually ask them, I said, well, do you dream? And if they don't dream, I said, or can you imagine, or if you were to dream, do you dream in pictures and do you dream in color? Because, uh, for example, I have um, a young woman, she's in her 30s that came in and she does not see pictures. So I had to change the language. And I usually use all of the, try to use all of the senses so that if you don't connect with this one, you're going to connect with a different sense. But you, you know, the, the, the smell and the, the aromas, the feeling of the grass, the sound of the waves, the whatever it might be. Um, 
it's just interesting because you have, you try again tailor it to each person but we we teach the students to come in and we give them a script and then they have to write their own but we teach them how to bring in what you know you're painting a picture for these people describe the picture how do they know what it feels like sounds like we so we make them do the, all of the senses i think that's a great idea too when you have a student and the student kind of tailors the script to them because maybe my description of imagery might be different than yours and you want it to come from within instead of just kind of phoning it in. Um, I felt you again, like as you're speaking it, I'm feeling your energy, your just the way you're presenting it. I got it. Like it, it, it resonated inside. And that's kind of, I think what brought me down to that state. Now question. Okay. I, you know, I, I say I was here. I started up here. If we were to go longer, how much lower into a trance state or, or a hypno hypnotic state were would I have been? I would have actually done some deepeners with you. So what I mean by a deepener is you're here. And usually we'll have people, uh, a common one is you have to take them down steps. And they relax, double their relaxation with each step down. But at the same token as you're giving them those deepening, so let's say I'm going to have you go down steps and you're gonna double your relaxation with each step. I'm not gonna tell you what this step looks like. You get to create that in your own mind. I'm gonna have you pay attention to it. Maybe you walk down, maybe you float down, maybe you're just down, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, because if, when I start, if I were too specific, that you would say, yeah, that's not what I see. And then you get distracted and that kind of thing. I, I can so, tell you this, based on the way I was feeling and just almost out sleep, like out sleeping, um, I would probably fall down the steps at that point. <laughs> You're going to float down the steps. The float, yes. Gonna that, float. You know. Yeah, just, just kind of land at the bottom on a nice, comfortable cloud or something. So I don't know if you remember, there's a Bugs Bunny episode where he goes to a castle, and I, I think it's a bottle of ether that gets opened, and he's he's floating, just like you described, down some steps. And it's just like, again, that's my imagery. That's mine. <laughs> Yeah. but that's what no, i said yeah wow that was fantastic. i love listening asking people what they see because everybody sees things differently and it's so funny because some people go so deep that you'll watch them and i have a reclining chair and sometimes you'll get people that their hands will actually start levitating and their feet will levitate because they feel like they're floating wow. and they'll tell you that they're like i was i was floating <laughs> i mean that's a common thing but there, some of them their hands actually do come up off the chair Crazy. So now when they're in yeah. that state, you got them in and, yeah. and, and they're, they're hypnotized. Is that where you yeah. start feeding certain things? So let's yeah. say it's, you know, to stop smoking, you start speaking about that, you know, yeah. give me an example. We, we have a couple of minutes, give an example of what you would say, pick any topic, you know, uh, you're helping somebody stop smoking. What would you do? So I probably give them uh, suggestions about, you know, the taste of it. So I'll ask them before we ever go into a session, what's something that you absolutely can't stand? You know, liver and onions is a common one or um, Brussels sprouts or whatever it might be. Or, you know, it's, or think about the first time you ever smoked a cigarette and they all tell you it tasted awful. And so you'll bring that so that anytime they taste it, it'll taste awful. Maybe you give them a suggestion that they can't get the cigarette or whatever they're smoking to their mouth. Uh, a lot of smoking, if you think about it, it's like taking deep breaths in. So they say smoking relaxes you, but really it's a stimulant. Mm. <laughs> What's relaxing them is they're taking those deep breaths in and out. So we'll incorporate, well, I'll give them suggestions about anytime you get that craving, you'll stop and take three deep breaths in or out. I might have them do this. I might have them just do the anchor where they put their thumb and forefinger together, take three deep breaths in and out. And sometimes they might not even realize that they're doing it. And then as they do this, I'll give them a suggestion that all of those cravings disappear or subside or whatever it might be. So, so cool. And I, I'm fresh to this. I, you know, of course we've heard about hypnosis, but never experienced it. I've never even seen it done except on TV, just as a goof, which I know you guys do for fun. But, you know, when it comes to the serious stuff, there's I can I can honestly see how you can help people when you bring them into that state because you got them like now. It's like the captive audience at that point. 
It is. And when they sit down in the chair, it's funny because I'll do the induction. And when I say I need to see you, it's so funny because they'll get to a point where I'll, they might just do the, just a little, and it's like, got them where I need them, <laughs> you know, yeah. and I'll do a little test to see if they can open their eyes. And it's funny because that's a convincer. And I'll tell them that their eyes are so heavy and just so relaxed. They won't be able to open it no matter how hard they try. And they're sitting there doing, <laughs> you know, I can't get them open. <laughs> And then they come out and they're like, I couldn't get my eyes open. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> so, and I, I was wondering what I was doing at that point. There was, you know, maybe the three quarter point of what you just did. I was thinking, well, well how is this look on camera? Like, uh, and I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> this feels too good. <laughs> right. So people that are in hypnosis, they are so relaxed that they just don't really care. Yeah. And sometimes they'll, if you're coming for the first time, you might think, am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Oh, she said, do this. And I'm not sure. And so I'll do suggestions. Like if you think you're doing this right, you absolutely are. Let the that thought just fade away and just allow your mind to relax. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes in there. And sometimes it might not even make sense to the person, but it's all in metaphors. And yeah. Uh, what would you fun. say? I enjoy it. Oh, I enjoyed it. Trust me. What is it? What is the top? <laughs> Top three things that you help people out with when it comes to hypnosis. So because I work for a college, we get a lot of nursing students that can't pass their boards or have problems with test anxiety. That is huge. Wow. And, you know, I'll see them once or twice most often. And, you know, I had a gal that couldn't pass her board. She tried four times, was out of college for a couple of years selling hot tubs, hated it hated her life. And then the instructor that she had had um, contacted me and said, Hey, I'm looking for anything. Can you help this girl? So I saw her twice. And of course she did her own studying again and went and passed her boards, got a dream job working in an OB unit. So had a lot, I've done a lot of students, um, chiropractors can't pass their boards, high school kids that just have anxiety. So anxiety and stress right now are probably the biggest ones that I'm dealing with. So we have a minute left, but I'm going to share with you. I had dinner with my daughter last night and she failed her boards. Oh, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Have her call and, me. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't wait to, to, to tell her about that. And, uh, you know, she's pretty good on the anxiety thing, but you know, you're always going to have you taking a test. Uh, it's, you know, there's, you're going to be you stressed have, out. You have to study. I tell them, I said, you can't come and think and know it's going to magically make right. you learn something that you didn't prepare for. Yep. But if you studied, everything that you ever learned is in your mind. It's just we teach them how to access it and feel calm about it. Exactly, because the block is the anxiety and the information can't flow out. Yeah, exactly. And and she's a great student. It's just, you know, maybe it's anxiety. That's usually so, the case. Yeah. Bonnie yeah. Sykehouse, great talking to you. Holistic Health and Wellness Center. And uh, you guys do so much. Reiki, hypnosis. If you are stressed out, you have anxiety, give us your website again. Uh, h3hypnosis.com or h2wellness.net. <laughs> .net. Great talking to you again, Bonnie. And uh, thanks for making me relax. I, I, I needed that. Yeah, good. Enjoy the rest of your day. And you too. And I'm sure a lot of other people do too. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network.